this video I'm going to show how to create a Windows 11 USB installer using the Windows Media Creation Tool. So the first thing I will do is search for Windows Media Creation Tool and after the results appear, I want the first link for Microsoft.com titled Create Installation Media for Windows. This page has instructions and requirements which I am familiar with so I'll just go down and click on the link to download Windows 11. And from here, it will first show a download for the installation assistant which I don't want so I'll scroll down to the Media Creation Tool below it and click on Download Now. Then I'll go up to the top right of Chrome after the download completes and click on the little folder icon next to the tool file name which will open up File Explorer where I can double click on the executable. I'll click yes to allow the tool to make changes to my computer and close the Microsoft website since I don't need it anymore. Then I'll move the setup window over to the left and snap the file explorer to the right so I can show what happens with the USB drive which I will insert now. You can see that a D drive appears with the name ESDUSB, which stands for Electronic Software Distribution, so this is a USB that has an older version of Windows set up on it. Now I'll go over and scroll down to look through the license terms, and then click the Accept button below to begin the setup. Then it will give me a couple of options where I can uncheck the Use Recommended box to change the language in addition. But I don't need to change anything, so I'll keep it checked, and go down to click on the Next button. Here it will give me two options. I can create a bootable USB drive which needs to be at least 8GB, or an ISO file which I can burn to a DVD later. I'll keep the default USB option and click next again. Now I will go down and select the D drive which is the letter assigned to the USB I inserted earlier. Then click next to continue, and it will start the setup process where it will first download the latest version of Windows 11 from Microsoft, which can take several minutes or more depending on your internet connection. Then it will verify the download and start creating the bootable USB drive which is when it will delete the existing partitions on the USB to create a new one, and then rename and format the drive before installing all the Windows 11 installation files on it. And that process can take several minutes to complete, and once it does, it will let you know that your USB flash drive is ready, so you can click finish to finalize the setup. Hopefully this video has helped, and feel free to ask any questions that you still may have in the comments. Thank you for watching, and please like and subscribe for more quick and on-point videos.